live from all formats. Smashing it. Merry Christmas, mate. And you, mate. Yours has been a entirely work-related one, hasn't it? Yeah, it has, mate. It's been a pain in the ass. Oh, well. And it's funny, people always go, oh, you must be used to it. Yeah, I might be used to it. Still shit. Yeah, still rubbish. Still want to have a little but, bit. I never understand it in any establishment where they employ the same people who work over a year. Um, they can't share out festive yeah. people. Most, most security companies, you either work one or the other. Well, just most companies, well, all companies, that should just be a thing. There's not much that happens throughout a whole year. No. Where it's like a, everybody winds down. In fact, I don't think there's anything else in there. I think so. No. Yeah, so I got the proper short end. So I did Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, Boxing Day. And then I've still got New Year's Eve and New Year's Day too, so yeah. cheers. But it is what it is. At the end of the day, all said and done. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> How was yours though? It looked pretty. Yeah, it was. It was nice. Nice. Um, first one I haven't been able to get back for. That's all. That's all. Yeah, we'll do some bit though. Yeah, of course we will. Did the girls have a good time? Oh, mate. I think this is one of the first years we managed to get everything they asked for. Right. There's, there were some random things. The pair asked for a popcorn maker. Yeah. Of course she did. <laughs> good shit. But, yeah. I think the, um, the Nintendo got the biggest hit, I think. A Nintendo Switch, was it? We got a little Switch, yeah. And then... um. The in-laws got them a telly for their room, which is better than our one downstairs. Cheers. <laughs> That's how it goes down, mate. Yeah. Well, I think I think they did all right. I think they enjoyed it. They were up at half past four, Christmas Day. Yeah, see you off, wasn't it? Yeah, they wanted to make sure Daddy got to see him open some presents, which was nice. Which was nice. Yeah. Go sit on a barrier. Managed to watch The Witcher. That was good. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't started it yet. I've heard mixed reviews. Uh, I think it's good. I think... I, I, I thought it was good. I think they were expecting some sort of super acting, and I don't think it, it's based on the computer game, isn't it? Black. Yeah. Black. So I think Henry Carville plays him as like a computer character, really. I mean, I'm open. I'll give it a go. He, he, hey, he is handsome, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's he's ridiculous. The chick, um, the the main chick, we has got she's got some boobs. Oh well, so, you'll be happy. That's why you liked it. Then. She had some lovely drugosauruses. Yeah. Um, Keep meaning to watch that Don't Fuck With Cats documentary. I started. It. I um, I watched a little bit, but it's not that I'm desensitised to these nutcases, but um, I think I started watching it. It was either the day before Christmas Eve or Christmas Eve, and I just passed out dead. And I'm knackered from work. Uh-huh. Yeah, you know, I started it because obviously I had nothing else to do. And, um, yeah, strange one. With the with the old internet police. Yeah, but I haven't, I haven't finished it, so. That's the thing, though, these days. If you, I mean, this one obviously pissed people off because of the whole cat thing. But I think in general, it's not just authorities and that that are clued up. And no. You, well, these guys, they, they were doing all sorts of research on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Down to his like, head spread and things. It's like, oh, that's yeah. a wolf head. 
where can mm. we find that? Oh, we found the exact one. Oh, that was made in the US. Boiler alert. Yeah. <laughs> How is in the first bit? Yeah. No, but I think um, that is one of the good things about the internet. On the flip side of that, you get the witch hunt in, I don't know, some comedian like Kevin Hart tweets out something when he was like five, ten years younger. Wow, oh, yeah. A completely relevant tech like tweet at the time. Not even a sensitive issue at the time. And now it's brought up and he, he was made out to be homophobic or yeah, it's ridiculous, isn't whatever it? the fuck. Whatever. Which is the flip side of it, but that's the bad side of the internet. Yeah. What I think mental about that is that you've got like people. Pretty sure Kevin Hart even got rid of that tweet, and there's been people sat waiting with that screenshot. Yeah. Just 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 waiting. Oh. You piece of shit. (laughs) You piece of shit. Oh, have you? Have you started watching uh, You season two yet? I haven't yet. Have you watched the first season? Yeah, yeah. Me and Kate watched yeah. the first. So, so you know what it's about. Well, yeah, yeah. Been, you know my boy Delia's in it. Your boy. <laughs> how, um, good, how good was the fire in a kid's Christmas episode? Uh, yeah. He, Chris came in hot on that one, didn't he? That was so funny when um, Brian Did you hear? fucking interrupts him. Oops. <laughs> It's, it's when he does when he when he sings oops. Um, it's a bit like that's. I think that actually tops his. Is it though? You know when um, uh, Theo was trying to do a podcast next door and Chris does. Is it the so loud <laughs> that Theo bangs on the walls as they were trying to record it? <laughs> um, did you hear what he did to Callan in Phoenix? No. Ah, uh, he went on stage, didn't he? I, I I might have seen there was a picture of him on stage the other. I think. Yeah, I he. Um, I, I talk about that, these guys like I know them. I don't know them. Best uh, mate, of anything. I've basically listened to all of their shows since all of them started. Um, it was quite like eight uh, years. As as a continuation, um, it was Rogan's tenth anniversary the other day, wasn't it? Yeah. And I remember I've listened to every single Joe Rogan episode. I didn't even realise that until I went through my podcast thing on my uh, on my phone. Oh, I yeah. li- literally listened to every single episode. I might not have been completely awake, like falling asleep listening to it, but there's not a single unplayed one in my in my thing. And I sort of for well, Brendan and Brian when they first started, I knew uh, I knew Brian, it's Brian and Chris from when they did the 10-minute podcast with Will Sato, if you remember, because you came over about four Christmases ago, and I kept playing you their episodes and how yeah. funny they were. Brilliant. And obviously, Brian met uh, Brendan through Joe. Yeah. And then the Fighter and the Kids became a thing. And I've, I've listened I've to all of the Fighter and the Kids. Really, yeah. be a few of me. It's, it's mad now, because... I think, in some respects, like the part of the kids, better to watch, but I never have time to watch it. Like I'll listen if I'm walking to work or I've got a day off and I'm going around the house hoovering or whatever. Sit the headphones in and listen to them. But by all accounts, because of like the the amount of visuals that they put up when you're yeah. cheering saying about their current events and they have them come up on the screen, it's the same with um, congratulations with Chris. Like some of the things you can't actually get the reference unless you watch what, yeah. What um, but yes, yeah, um, so Chris basically went on stage the other day. He told him he was going to do it during that episode, then he was going to go out to Phoenix and bomb his <laughs> thing, and he fucking did. <laughs> and he was, he was basically. He came out with something like, um, you guys might not know who I am, and then just started laughing uncontrollably. Uh, only kidding. I, I sold out the other stadium up the, up the road. <laughs> Three days in a row, and it wasn't over the festive period. So you all know who I am. <laughs> he, just started, he just roasted Brian 
for a good 15 minutes and then just walked off stage. <coughs> but yeah, he's in the new you. He's um, he's one of the characters in the first three episodes. Um, I'll get him on that. Yeah, I watched over the last couple of days. I watched it. it's it's good, but you know, you know how the first one it, it drags on a little bit, and there's a there's a huh moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty much the same format, so uh, yeah. There's yeah. lots and lots of like character building and his inner conflict and that, and it's you know if you're slightly sleepy, it's it's one of those that you like shit, nearly yeah. dozed off there, shit, <laughs> up again because it's just going on too long. And I still can't believe you have not gone to see Star Wars yet, so we can't even discuss that. Uh, we cannot discuss that. I'm meaning to get. Jess into it, so I've got someone to watch it with. I think Jess get. I think Jess get right into it. She's an Uber geek, so say again. She is an Uber geek, so she she definitely get into it. Um, I think watch them in order because that's that's how Georgie got into it. So watch them literally episode one right the way through. Yeah, yeah. Um, because. To kids now, that makes more sense. If you if you try and chop and change them, and you have to explain to them when you get to um, episode four, five, six. Yeah. Sorry. Right. Right. Yeah, oh. my um, my pill alarm went off. All right. Um, if you just explain to them that episodes four, five, and six were filmed before when you get to when you get to them, so so the visuals aren't quite so good, even though they are remastered, they are a bit better. Yeah, yeah. Um, it it does actually make more sense than the way that we had to watch it, yeah, even true. though even though you get uber geeks that will tell you that's not the right way to watch. You've got to watch it in this way, but it's far better when you watch the entire story right but through to it, nine. You could watch it one to nine. Surely it's nine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, even um, what's his face? Ah, uh, George Lucas said the reason why he did it in the reverse order was because he knew that he'd need the technology. Yeah. For, but, um, for the Clone what, Wars and things like that. Um, what, I will, what I will say about it is that Georgie, who loves Star Wars, and I'll put a, a little side note on this, that's because pe- people who love the original trilogy slate the second trilogy. Whereas, yeah. Whereas, I didn't really get into Star Wars. I, I'd seen it, but I didn't really get into it until the second trilogy came. Out. Yeah, I was. Um, I actually really enjoyed like Revenge of the Sith. I actually would even put my hand up and say that's one of my favourite. I, I, I did the same thing. I even had a conversation with our good friend of the show, Jack Shaw, and we agreed. Yeah. Like Revenge of the Sith. Yeah. I love that. But Georgie, who has watched them all, and Revenge of the Sith is obviously visually brilliant, even now. Yeah. She, she was like, Dad, that was, that was my favourite episode. Brilliant. Whereas I've seen everybody slating it. Oh, they tried to cram too much in, blah, blah, blah. I was like... J-. My biggest thing with Star Wars, I'm happy with anything that comes out that is Star Wars. Yeah, yeah. I don't care if it's, like... Oh, oh, they left this out, they left this out, or this character didn't do it. Shut up, mate. But <laughs> I mean, right, the thing is, that I, I enjoy Star Wars. I enjoyed the the first three films, even though I remember being younger and finding them a bit tough to watch. Yeah. When, when I was little. So long. Yeah. I yeah, I had the attention span of a nut, and they were only ever on at Christmas because you only have three chaps. <laughs> yeah. uh, and I I'd just been bought a new football and wanted to go and belt it against the wall. Yeah. Whereas now that I'm older and I appreciate it, when I watch them with George, and you can see her like when certain things happen in that episode nine, because now Georgie's obviously getting that bit older. You could see her get like she genuinely was getting upset watching it because she's invested in those characters. And yeah. then ob- obviously, this is not a spoiler, there's some flashbacks of old characters that come up. 
and they do the forced ghosts of certain characters, which none of which I'm gonna gonna say because it will completely ruin it for you. Um, you could see George go like that. So she knows the characters. That's good though. And honestly, they I I think. I mean, you may have a completely different opinion to me, but I, I thoroughly enjoyed the film. I thought visually it was really good. Like every, everything you see on on the movies is excellent. Um, yeah, I mean, I think they they shortcutted a few things and could have done certain storylines a little bit different. But that's only my view on how I see Star Wars. So I don't think it didn't affect the fact that I went out and went, wow, pretty good life, pretty fucking good life. Because um, with it, and this won't spoil it because I doubt you've played it, but they um, they reference Knights of the Old Republic in there, which is the computer. Play I played that with you. Oh, you did play it back in the day. Um, yeah, um, you could build your own lightsaber. Yeah, and there's there's two references in that. I think it's two. Um, I think. Did you play the second one with me, where you go to Revan's Temple? Yeah. Yeah, so that sort of referenced in there. And also the building lightsaber thing is sort of, sort it's like loosely yeah, sweet. in there. Because obviously Ray and Kylo, they've got their lightsabers. Yeah. And therefore, like, they might lose them, they might get broken. They've got to reconstruct them, basically. Tracking. Which is a direct reference to. Yeah. I'll um, get amongst that at some point. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. I do it. I definitely. I think. And this is genuine now. Definitely got to see Star Wars in the cinema because you've got to have the, the loud noises and everything going on. It's good when you watch it at home because you you see stuff that you miss at the yeah. cinema because you're too like, ah, what's going on? But. I think initially you've got to see it, all the space battles and everything. That's all got to be in that like sound around sound. <laughs> in the yeah, I love it. Well, he loves it. So, yeah, that was um, my non-spoiler Star Wars. I don't think there was any major that I nah, didn't. Are you all right? Did you um? Did you watch Gavin and Stacey? No. No, mate. No. Do you know why? Hey. Kim. Huh? Kim believes in it. Kimberly. Yeah, James Kimberly Corden. Oh. <laughs> it's actually quite good. But uh, it's actually a sort of topic that I wanted to sort of step into was they got a bit of backlash on it, didn't they? Because they sung Fairy Tale of New York and left in uh, the woods. Yeah, and yeah, left in the woods. Yeah. But there's the, the words. Yeah. Yeah, the words, though. Yeah. Because I was like, why are people moaning about this, right? Because that word, the F word. Yeah. That I'm not going to say. But they were also playing it on the radio. Yeah. Without they... it being leaked out or anything. Oh, really? Yeah, I heard it several times on Capital Art and the Mighty Radio 1. What, Radio 1 didn't blank it? Nope. Yeah, so, I thought they hey, hey, just a word. Just a word. I can understand why. I can understand why it's the derogatory term from it. Sure. But about the N word, isn't it? Can't go around shouting that out. No. And I suppose but if you if you do sort of think about it. If a song came out in the 40s and they used that word in the song, you'd expect it not to be played mm. on the radio. And in this day and age, you know, it, you've got to tread carefully, as it were. But, yeah. like, they're not doing it, they're just doing it because of the song. It was a good song to sing to at Christmas. In yeah. A TV program. And but it's also, also a, a TV program. They're not real. Yeah. I mean, and it's the same with, like, for example, we'll just take the movie Green Mile. 
they use the N word a lot in that with the white yeah. characters. That doesn't mean that that actor is racist. Like yeah. character. But I think we all need to just. Everybody needs to chill out. Chill also, out. Also, could I be slightly controversial and say that maybe they knew there would be a backlash and that might get them more ratings? Ah, I like you. I like the way your mind thinks. Yeah. No, I can see your point. A few more clicks. Oh, did you yeah. see this from Gavin and Stacey? Oh, did I? Ooh. Yeah. Love it. So, coming up to a year, mate. End of the year, even. Mm-hmm. Been an all right year, isn't it? To be fair. Yeah. I think, um, for you personally, I think it's been a good year. It has been a good year for me personally, I think, yeah. I think you've had a, a lot of growth this year. I believe so. I think just in general, I just feel not just through the podcast, just in general with myself. Like, <clears throat> me and Kate have always had a few ups and downs and what have you, but this year seems to have settled. Mm-hmm. Well, it's testament to yourself, mate. I mean, you started off the year, um, well, when you started off the podcast, um, you felt good about yourself. You got slammed by people like John Smith, made you feel like shit. You continued to talk your, yourself into a good place, then you'd get low place, then you went and sorted yourself out with the doctors. And ever since, as far as I know, you haven't You call it a wobble, call it what you like, but you haven't seen, since you have been to the doctors and you, you've done that, you seem to have, and I'm not going to even, it's not even a plateau, is it? It's, it seems to have leveled out. Yeah, balanced. You, you, you seem to have, whether it's you've got the focus of, of doing your podcast now and you're also enjoying your work a bit more, which allows you to enjoy your family life more. Maybe, maybe it was the intervention of the medication that you needed, but something's happened and it seems to have leveled you out and it allows you to be the Sean that you were a few years ago. It's not that it wasn't getting hit by anxiety, depression, whatever you want to call it, whatever it was at the time. It definitely seems to have settled might say and I think there's even towards the end of the year with things sort of ramping up a little bit with with the podcast especially mm. the end of November um, December time yeah with the the guests that we've had on um, you becoming more of a um, what's the um, word I'm thinking of anyway you becoming more of part of the show the messiah yeah you could say that if you like <laughs> i mean it's fine you can call me that well, i mean well, you're not gonna call me darren anyway. just the chosen one chosen one yeah so <laughs> even, even you coming on to the onto it and it's it's nice to have that time you know i could we could just be sat here having a chat anyway this could be a conversation on the pub. Good. And that's what I think is good about how we're doing it at the minute. Because, you know, you live in Hereford, I live in Kent. I very rarely <laughs> speak to my big brother. And even though it's only once a week, sometimes twice a week, now we have regular chats. And it's those chats that sort of. I don't know if it's a routine or if it's just the fact that we're just sat having a conversation. I don't think it's routine because I, I, I think, I mean, that would suggest that it's it's scheduled in. I mean, it's usually on a Wednesday, but that's when I've got a day off. <laughs> but, it, it w- but it wouldn't matter if it was Thursday or Tuesday. It's just like, it would be like if I lived in Kent or you lived in Hereford, we'd probably see each other the same amount that we do over this video call. 
but it would more, more likely be go down to Rosie watch the footy and we'd spend two, three hours watching the footy, catching up what you did in the week because I wouldn't be round your house every every night of the week. You know what I mean? Nah. But it's nice. I, I like it. It's um, my, my bit of me time. Yeah. It's it's nice. To be fair. To whether you're talking to uh, UFC fighters, I mean, I do think we need to dig deeper and not just go with fighters all the time in the coming no, year. No, no, I, wasn't, I, I haven't just been going... Um, uh, no, no, you haven't. I know you haven't. I just, I, just recently, that seems to be the way, yeah. but it's always, it's always, <laughs> it's gonna, it's always going to follow a trend, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's because quite funny obviously you've got Jack on, got Mason. I know those two boys, even yeah. though Mason called me Daryl. Mason, that stopped you being guest of the year. That stopped you being the Darren Thompson Messiah guest of the year. <laughs> Did it? Whoops. He <laughs> <laughs> got, he got, got most of the votes. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, However, just gone downhill because you called him Daryl. So. Yeah. Um, but I know you're pointing, but some of the ones uh, lined up for in the new year, we've got the founders of Inner Armor, which yep. yeah, I, yeah, you sent me a message about that one. Um, that they, they um, give you the tools you need, uh, whether it's for the um, the police force military, fire service, medical crews, that sort of thing, um, to help you deal with stress and anxiety, PTSD, that sort of thing, before it builds up. Mm -hmm. That's their um, main thing. So they're coming on. Um, that sound really rude. Can't remember his name now. Lana sort of sorted that one out. Um, Matt Owen. That's the one. Apologies, Matt. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll speak more to Matt on that. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Um, uh, hey, Legless Robbo, he's coming on. Yeah, I'm looking forward Legless. to that one, actually. Because the last time I spoke to Robbo, we were all hammered. We were all absolutely sloshed. Sloshed. Yeah. Sloshed. Um, yeah, and he, he hadn't long got his new leg. If you remember. That's <laughs> Because um, that was yeah, that wasn't long after he'd finished all of his rehab and stuff, was it? I think so. Yeah, he was um, because um, he he was str struggling walking around when yeah. we were on the taxi. Yeah. Um. Also got to which to which none of us gave him any credit for for the no, entire taxi. He pretty much kept up with us like walking wise. Yeah. Throughout Nottingham, and um, we went. Do you need to take a break, Robbo? <laughs> yeah. Or, in actual fact, if anything, we ripped him for not keeping up. <laughs> well, it's what, it's what you deserve sometimes. In it, Robbo? You know. He knows. <laughs> to which, I would like to apologise to Robbo from the entirety of that stag do, even though it had nothing to do with me. I was just there to be the entertainment. <laughs> we didn't even get a wedding. <laughs> didn't even get a wedding in, boy. Here's Anders. I'd like to say Anders is listening, but he doesn't even reply to his texts. He's busy. What? He's always busy with his ginger fucking head. Um, who else? Uh, potentially uh, Josh Bridges, who I'm sure you really want to talk to. Josh Bridges? Yeah. He's a former US Navy SEAL and CrossFit athlete. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, cool. He's um Sam Bloke, mate. Oh no, he might be. Cool. <laughs> and another geezer from he was on the T V show SES Who Dares Wins. Have you ever seen that one? Rand Middleton and that. I've been there when it's been on before. Right, he was one of the contestants on that. Oh, uh, cool. With that coming out, that that's coming back on telly in January, so it'd be good to get like his insight on it, I guess. Mm -hmm. 
and he's got a good backstory and things like that as well. He's quite a down to earth kind of guy. <laughs> you have to have a good backstory if you're on those shows. Well, yeah, true. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah. That's um. But yeah, we've got some good guests lined up in the in the pipe. Yeah. But yeah, it's, I know what you mean. We don't want to just be stuck around fighters and fighters mentalities and. No, because it's it, with. Uh, it's absolutely no disrespect to. Um any guests that have been on but like I said to you when you first started the podcast or it, it, it could be an opening thing for you that um, it starts off as your your way of spreading the message about mental health and you can continue to do that through the podcast yeah but you can't focus on that there's only so much people to listen to yeah um, stuff on mental health uh, there's only so many fighters that people listen to if they don't know who they are. Um, yeah. But that's why it's good to get eclectic people uh, on, like having, I can't remember her name, the lady. It is. Okay. Oh, oh, Alicia. Yeah, having Alicia, sorry, Daryl. Um, <laughs> having someone like her on in the same week that you've got Mason Jones is brilliant. Yeah, because that's giving someone completely different stuff to listen to, um, and you can touch on the whole mental health side stuff, but not make it about that. Just, yeah, exactly. And that's not that's not brushing mental health aside. It's just keeping people interested. Yeah, and listening and uh, listening to the different. I mean. We talk about PTSD. PTSD is so different from one person to the next. It could be post-traumatic, post-traumatic stress from being touched as you're a kid, or yeah, getting your legs blown off. But like there's two different perspectives on where that post-traumatic stress comes from. And yeah, exactly. I I'd like to see like. My, I, I said to you earlier, like I, I really need to um, get my my computer system sorted out and everything, so I can get the audio quality going, bang on, in the new year, get these videos out because yeah. I've saved them all. I've got them all saved. Yeah. Get them on YouTube. It's such a pain in the ass. I, don't, I do not know what's going on with YouTube at the moment. Whether it's um, your YouTube account, whether we've got to like pay a premium. To be able to upload, like I mean, pretty sure what Rogan does, if he goes live on YouTube, it's not a Skype call because he's all in the same studio. Yeah, but I don't know how to do that because no. we're skyping. You know what I mean? So yeah. we'd have to Skype first in order to get it onto YouTube. So I'm not sure because I know. Um, uh, Michael Bispin's one, they do it via Skype. <laughs> <coughs> there has to be a way. I just don't have the time at the minute to, to yeah. get it done. Which brings me on to something. Look, I'm not one for New Year's resolutions. No. But there are a few things that I'd like to do in the new year. Mm -hmm. One is to bring on this podcast. I want to start my own podcast. Um, but what I want is for people to be able to sit and watch our conversation. I think that's, you get, you, this is one of those podcasts, like I said earlier, like you watch the fire and the kid. When you watch Rogan, it's not so, not so much unless, unless it's uh, like a fight companion. Fight companion yeah. is a good one to watch. Otherwise, it's a bit like watching like a two camera thing, where it's one shot on Rogan, one shot on guest, one shot on Rogan, one shot on guest. Yeah, yeah. Whereas the fighter and the kid, they're bringing stuff up to the leader is. But I think our interaction, I think from time to time, like I'll throw you a look and that makes you laugh and they don't understand what you're laughing at. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Um, I, I do like a good chuckle. Yeah. <coughs> um, it's something that 
But going forward into the new year, that's what I mean. Like, have you got things that you, not and not resolutions? Because I, I think New Year's resolutions are bullshit. Yeah, because they they go within the first fucking week or whatever. Yeah, because they're, they're, I think with the New Year's resolution, as you know, working in the gym industry, like I did, working with the general public rather than with private. Gym Excuse industry, me. Um, I think people have the right intentions. But a resolution, you're only doing it because it's, some, it's something that you haven't been doing that you're not willing to commit to. But I'm yeah. going to do it. I'm going to do it. I've had a few beers on New Year's Eve. That's going to be and There's not much substance to it. No. I'd, rather, I'd be thinking since the beginning of December about, you know, what, what do I want to do in a year coming forward? Not, not straight away. I'm not going to sign oh. up. Yeah, more gold and, and do this. I'm not going to say I'm going to do that. Like, for another one, for example, I want to read more. I spend a lot of my time reading shit on the internet that doesn't matter. Yeah. And like, I think I said about three, four episodes ago, but I've got a new favorite thing is I get wound up reading this. <laughs> so I get wound up reading that when I could be putting my energy into, like, and I don't want to sound like Callan. But I, I want to put my like if I'm going to sit and read something, I might as well be read reading. Something. I've got a bookcase, an actual bookcase full of books, which I've read maybe quarter of. A lot yeah. of them are like dad's books, and I, I look at them and go, uh, "Can't be bothered to read that." Can't be bothered to read a bit of Wilbur Smith. But they're good books. That's the thing. And if I'm putting the energy into sitting there reading tweets from some twat that doesn't make any difference. Yeah. And I'll, I'm not even being self-righteous. I, I literally only read that to annoy myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's the only reason. I found oh. myself the other day. So I'm part of village Facebook group thing and they put up every every so often you'll get oh the bins haven't been collected that sort of thing all oh, the parking down the road isn't very good Brilliant. cheers for that there was one yesterday someone posted up just seen some kids firing a catapult at a bird like right. okay I'll stop you there why are you putting a post on Facebook about it why didn't you go and have a word with them Say hey, don't do it. The birds in the catapult, but also you little cretin. But also the comments are funny. Someone put on there, "We just ate a bird for Christmas. What's the difference?" Uh, hmm? But also you should should ask. You should have put a comment up there saying, "Did you not get a catapult for Christmas in the 80s? True. I, didn't I always wanted one of them catapults, the ones that go over the rift. Mm. You have to put your hand inside it. Give like yourself... called the Black Widow, mate. That's it. Always wanted one of them. One of them. Sensible parenting, that was. Yeah, because they knew that we were... Well, I was an idiot. So. <laughs> that was sensible parenting. A bit like a BB gun. I didn't need a BB gun. I had one. I know you had one. I don't know where you got it. It was black Rob. market. Rob Young. Yeah. When um, Uncle Bob ended up going to hospital and Rob uh, moved out, Mum oh, was tell you a huge story about it. He'd be a good guest. Rob, maybe. yeah. Maybe. Or he'd be a rubbish guest. It would go one of two ways. <laughs> There's one that he would do, like just be a really interesting talk about his tattooing and all that stuff. There's two other things. That he gets too stoned that he doesn't talk, or he gets just a bit stoned and then he does talk and he's all weird shit. <laughs> Do you remember being in the lich and him talking about having a castle? Yes, he's gonna take over it with the AK. Where did he get the AK from? <laughs> he bought it, obviously. Yeah, um, yeah, so that. 
He's Rob's not great. He's not of this planet, Rob. No. <laughs> He, he would be. He, it's one of them. Like it would go either way. Yeah, he'd be really good or really like. Um, I did have a couple. Oh, I want to play my guitar more in the new year. Yeah. Now that my thumb is dexterous again, it's only taken over a year. But I've got some dexterity back in it. Um, I want to play my guitar more. I could maybe come up with an actual tune for your intro. What, like um, Skylar Aston? Yeah. But also, no, but like I, I could learn a favourite song of yours and do. I do. I do think we need a tune because it's good, and as Ali is, the ecstasy of gold is. Not mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did try messing around on Garage Band, but again, what? I didn't have no Garage Band. You on a fucking PS One rock band? You sometimes. <laughs> are fucking boring. You sometimes are an idiot. So you. Yeah. <laughs> so. Turn the screen guess, down. Guess what, guess what DJ Marky Mark's doing tomorrow? Oh, is he doing a song night? No, mate, he's DJing. Oh, I have to bring the iPad over this time. Hey, he's dead. They can't meet in the middle. They can't meet in the middle. Right, can you see the screen on my phone or not? Yeah. Can you see this one up here? <coughs> yeah, do it. It's called... Oh, not that one. It. Garage. Oh, Garage. Right. And you create music on it. Ah. Yeah, so DJ Marky Stan, Disco Dave, he's uh he's going off to um DJ tomorrow. Who is he? I don't know if he's a show. I think he's on like a radio show, like a soul radio show DJ. Okay, that's weird. Hit and play. Why is there a soul radio show? I don't know, but he did a uh, soul radio podcast as well once. Hey, well, that's good. Living the best life, mate. What? What's Mark's favourite soul song? I don't know. Think of a soul song other than I'm a soul man. All I can think of is James Brown. I don't, I don't know any other soul music. I'm not cultured, I'm not styled, I'm not sophisticated. I'm sure I would know if I thought about it, but... <laughs> so you got any other things you want to work on? Well, I want to make sure that Little things get done that I said that need to get done. Like, I need to make sure I speak with the SAFA and the REF Benevolent Fund. Mm -hmm. so they're going to help with maybe a little bit of funding so I can get some actual kit. Mm -hmm. Because it's all, it's like I said to Danny, it's all well and good that I'm sending out this fantastic free content. But if the audio and things like that aren't, on point, then people aren't going to listen. <clears throat> that's not necessarily true. As long as it's audible, that's fine. Um, I think we've we've had a few recordings we've done. Yeah, we are. Uh, are, are that aren't quite as good. Um, but on the whole, yeah, on the whole, they're all right. But considering you're doing it from an iPhone, yeah, that's not the worst. An iPhone, and, an iPhone, and, and, your, and your guest isn't there with you. It's not. Yeah. That's like I said, I was like, it's it's one thing sitting in the shed, you know, having a conversation and it being recorded, but because it's going through Skype, it's always going to have that little bit of... Well, yeah, like, I'm listening to you now, and every now and again, it sounds like you just slow down, like, 
one or two VPN, and mm. you're talking this, but and it's like, well, that's that's no good. It's what it is, isn't it? But, but yeah. No. But the thing is with the Skype videos is when they when Skype processes them and they're there in your your save thing. It's almost like they they sort that out. Like yeah. that was clearly a connection. I have noticed, yeah. But when you listen to it back from the original recording, yeah, like if you're recording it from your phone just audibly, it still picks up the lag. Yeah, and that's what. So that's what was happening is because it's recording onto the iPad. The iPad's on mm-hmm. doing the pod being doofus purple. Yeah. So eventually, we really want to like just chin that off. And have it so yeah. it uploads and straight like I said, like I, I can, I, I know how to do that. Because A, I don't have the time at the moment. Mm. And B, I don't have the technology. At the moment. I, but I, I pay for the fucking technology. But my laptop isn't strong enough to run Photoshop or Premiere. Oh, which, good. like, it can sort of run it. Like you saw, I designed those bits and bobs but it yeah, just means yeah, the yeah. laptop just goes ah! that's basically what the laptop does the whole the entire yeah. time laughing at you going, ah. I'm a, if I'm I mate. if if I use well it's not even that it's ancient so I bought a laptop that was like on offer in Curry's and the reason it was on offer is because it's for browsing the, the web so I uh, bought all the extra I bought all the extra bits for it like I bought a um, external hard drive um, you know everything that I needed, and basically it doesn't matter because Photoshop, Premiere, all the um, audio stuff is all web based. So you have to. It's a bit like you have to save it to your phone. Yeah. Right. That's all well and good having the external cert, um, external drive, but to run the program, you need to have so much space on the laptop you can save it all out, out, out to the external one yeah but in order to run the program itself you need so much storage and it doesn't even have enough storage sometimes i don't know why sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't to to run the program itself so when you run it and it's running on a hundred percent that's like bit, that's like eating a full meal and trying to go for a run but the computer just can't deal with it but, hey. Yeah, not happening. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, that was enough tech bollocks for you that you yeah, don't fully totally understand. But well, yeah, so basically, I want to speak to speak to them, um, see what we can do financially, get some kit, maybe. Well, that depends what they want to do. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, just branch out, really. But I, I think um, between the two of us, we can, we can figure this out. Oh, even yeah. if, even if we stay right, it's a te- like I mean, I stick a tenner a week into the Granite Zero thing. Tenner doesn't bother me or you in the slightest. Put a tenner a week. Eventually, what we're going to do is that's going to buy you a laptop. And it doesn't have to be a great laptop, but it has to be a laptop. Yeah. I think and, that's and then at the same time, because I have to get myself a laptop anyway, I'll be looking to get a laptop eventually. And then it's like, right, so when we're doing these Skype conversations, we have both. You then, for example, you have to buy yourself an HD webcam. Not the yeah. one from the laptop. You have to go and get yourself that sorted, and we just work from there, and we just slowly build it up. So then, once yeah. you've got the webcam and the laptop, we can then go right. The sound could be better. Let's figure out how um, uh, audio mixers work. We'll then plug in an audio mixer each end, and then you stop this lag or one of us sounding echoey. And we would just we just keep keep doing it there from 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 January the first. Just slowly work towards it's it's a in 12 months time i don't want to be sat with a a light on my face so that i look 
in um, in HD, and you don't want to be in the shed with your phone in front of you. That's no. what, that, that's all we want to work for. Yeah, that, that's what that's, that's all I ask. No, but that's that, that going forward. Do you know what I mean? I think yeah, in terms I'd of also podcast, like to um, eventually set up some sort of website. Um, you've said about the, what you have to remember about a website website takes a lot of maintenance yeah 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 and, and we're not selling a lot of merch um, <laughs> no but we're not so you're not like selling like a, like water bottles and stuff like that um, so I think you're doing Brilliantly with your Instagram content, Facebook. Um, Facebook seems to be a bit up and down. Facebook's a weird one. I've got. I'm getting but quite Facebook, a few. Um... Facebook, you get a lot of information from Facebook on who's engaging. Yeah. But unless you promote it, you don't get a lot back yeah. from Facebook. Um, Whereas Instagram, you get a few few likes. Twitter, Twitter's a good one. I like Twitter. I, I don't mind Twitter. Twitter's all right. I keep not that I forget I've got it. It's just so I, I will post something on my like, Instagram. They tend to be connected, so it goes automatically. Yeah, yeah. So posting on there, I probably could post on there a bit more. Um, I don't, but, but you the, don't. Um, Facebook's always like you can reach up to a thousand more, whatever, whatever the fuck. If you pay okay. this, and it's like, well, I don't want to pay that. No, I don't. I, I think that's the wrong way to go about it. Yeah, because then you're just paying. Rogan has never paid for an advertisement um, no. on Facebook once. And uh, let's be honest, he's the. I don't care what ratings say. Joe Rogan is the biggest. He's the pinnacle. podcast. He is the biggest podcast in the world. Yeah, without a doubt. Um, regardless of. If ratings say that one week it's like Mark Maron has got more or whatever, Joe Joe Rogan and the amount of different guests he's he's had over the last ten years, which started yeah. basically the same as us, but it was just it was Rogan and Red Band in a room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talking well, just because of fucking Joe Rogan having a split with Elon Musk, they got the fucking. Fucking shares went down, didn't they? What in what Elon's place? Yeah, I can't remember what, uh, what Tesla. 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 Yeah, but but the weed shares went up, and if yeah. you think for a second that Elon Musk did not know that, yeah, and if did. his shares went down, if he could buy more shares in his own company, I mean, I mean, did he give Joe Rogan a flamethrower out of no? Did get he did get him a flame flame flip. He got yeah. him a flamethrower and I guarantee he owns more of his own company now than he did before he went on Joe. Elon he Musk. Motherfucker, motherfucker genius. So because we're coming up to the end of the year, do you have any specific highlights of my show? Our show. Highlights of your show. I think um, sitting down and talking to Tank was class. Yeah, I think um, I think the whole chat with Mason was brilliant. I thought it was brilliant when Madison came on. Uh, I think the invasion of the dogs on there was great, but that's all like recent stuff. Like yeah. the chat with Liz, Liz was brilliant. Um, would love to have sat in on that one. Um, Alicia was really good. A really good conversation. And you guys seem to really get on well. Uh, I think I'm just listing everything here. But Chris Smith. Chris Smith's podcast was brilliant. I thought he was good, Chris. Um, Chris Dunn was really good. That was a really good podcast. Um, I think one of my highlights, which nobody will ever hear, unless you've still got the recording, was our recording um, in Aura. First one. 
Well, yeah, the first one. <laughs> that might be in the draft. It might still be there. That might be that might be gone forever. But that that was a really good podcast. And yeah, also back into it and get rid of that. But um, also, it, um, also part of that, part of what was good about that is that it's gone. <laughs> and the reason for that is, is that that was probably um, a time that me and you probably needed to sit down and just have a chat. I think so. We, for, yeah. we formulated it with having a phone in between us and recording it, but it was nice to have a chat and we got away from. I mean, we went on holiday back to somewhere that we basically more or less grown up yeah. in in Malta. Every year, and we took ourselves we took ourselves away from everybody, and we just sat. We're like, this is fucking cool, isn't it? Yeah. But like, I'm 58, and you're 40. <laughs> Let's have a chat. Have a chat and some um, shit. Yeah. Shit. Now you got it right the first time. Yeah. Fuck. Fuck. Duke. Um, I in one of my favourite ones that I recorded, and it sounds quite selfish because I was on my own. Was when I had, I was literally laughing to myself about telling a fucking pedo joke at a wedding. Oh yeah, yeah. Was that <laughs> this year? It was, yeah. wasn't it? It was in April. Yeah. That seems like ages ago. April, mate. Don't, you don't tell pedo jokes at a wedding. No, I don't think he meant it as a pedo joke either. I think he actually genuinely, like in retrospect, I think he genuinely just thought it was a funny story. It was like... <laughs> hey, mate. Someone should have proofread that shit. <laughs> But yeah, I, I, yeah, that one, I thoroughly enjoyed having Mason on. Yeah, it. Mason, make that that Mason episode that was entirely too long, but it was <laughs> two episodes. It was um, it was a great chat. I mean, considering like you'd never met Mason before. No. Um, yeah, that was that was brilliant, and. It was testament to both of us, I think, being able to engage him for that amount of time. Yeah. Considering neither of us know know him. That well, I mean, I know Mason. I've met yeah, him a few times. Not but like... It's not like I give him, well, I've got his number now. But it's not like I give him a fucking text in the morning. All right, Mason, how's it going? What are we up to today? Yeah, yeah. Um, and being able to talk to him for essentially three hours. We did a Rogan podcast. We um, did a Rogan podcast. We did a Rogan podcast, yeah. After, after going up Penny Fan. Uh, yeah. And we lost half of it. Yeah. That was a good episode as well. That was a good, actually, that was a good episode. That was a good day. It was a good day in general. Yeah. We're supposed to be doing winter in February-ish time. Yeah. I mean, autumn was hard enough. Yeah. We'll take Jack next time because he will pull us up. Yeah. Yeah, so we've got that. Well, you, actually, you can, you, you can take Jerry. I'll take Jerry. You'll you have to carry him. No, you can be all right. You're good boy. Um, I also enjoy the one before we went, before I had to go and sit in the car while they all watched the little mix. In in the house when we tried it on the uh, on the camera. Yeah, I've still got still got the memory cards. Of to be fair, I'd fucking. I just think it's gone from strength to strength. If anything, I, I don't know if it's. That was it's a good episode, actually, wasn't it? That was a good episode. In in the beginning, it was very much. In the Finningi. Have you what? seen that? Who? In the Finningi. What? Have you not seen that? What are you saying? Have you not seen the African guy? You know that why are you gay? Yeah. Right, this was before that. You just reminded me of it. <laughs> and some but one of the podcasts I listened to, they were talking about it the other day. Have you not heard in the Beningi? No. 
when the guy can't well, say that's in... not even a word, is it? You're saying no, in the but beginning. He's, tr- he's tr- yeah, that's what he's trying to say. In the beginning. Yeah, but he's saying in the beningi. Fucking hell. It's I th- yeah, it is the first thing I searched for last time. Of course it is. Do you hear this? In the beningi. <laughs> In the beningi, in the beningi, yeah. In the listen properly. In, listen properly. In the beningi, yeah. In in, in the beningi. In 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 the be in in the beningi. <laughs> <laughs> you did the beninging. <laughs> he adds a syllable in there. <laughs> oh. What are you doing? Fuck. Oh. oh. Brilliant. Right, so you were saying in the beninging. In the, the beninging. Podcast, what's this um... podcast called, Sean? In the beginning, in. <laughs> there you go, making that funny throat noise again. Oh, in, the in the beninging. In the beninging. Well, I can't even say it now. Beninging. In the bin- beginning. There we go. Yeah. You can't. Um, I think <laughs> I wasn't as confident chatting as I am now. If that makes sense. Yeah. So. It, now, even though we're not 100% structured, you've obviously got your phone ready to go for events and shit. Where before I was like, oh, let me just quickly look on my phone while I'm recording it at the same time to see what's going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's just that's just progression, isn't it? Progression. Evolution. Winning. In the beninging. In the beninging. So, go on in. Who's guest of the year then? Well, you, you had a poll, so I had a poll. Yeah. How but many I'm votes to get? Up because you get dickheads that are just going, "Hey, how was your day?" Oh, I didn't know that. You're not helping. I had four votes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I had more than four votes. Four votes for Mason. Yeah. Three votes for Liz, two for Alicia, and none for Chris and Chris. What about Jack? None for Jack. And none for Jack. It's flawed, mate. How many... Did you put up all of your guests? Did I put them up? Yeah. How? I tagged them in it as well. Bob and Chris Smith. Did I win? Huh? I win. I am guest of the year. You're guest of the year. Strap. Um, did you put? You didn't put me on there. No, you're not guest. Mm, guest. You're not guest anymore. Mm-hmm. Guest. <laughs> you wouldn't have got it anyway. What? <laughs> I'm the. We already established this. The... Sorry. Well, no, we'll call me that. Sorry. Sorry. That is me doing. Oh, oh, oh. Jesus, mate. <laughs> I got that. Anakin. Do you think he had a good birthday or not? For Jesus? Yeah. And just all. And it's Pete. That was Easter. Yeah. A couple of thousand years ago. Still hurting, though. Apparently. You don't recover from that. So, we're just scrapping guests of the year. <laughs> well, I don't know. I feel like um, your poll sort of threw it off because 
You just said you had four people vote for. Yeah. So why don't we decide who's guest of the year? Yeah, don't do a poll ever again. Because it wasn't really a poll either, because I, I didn't know how to make it into a poll. Of course you didn't. So it didn't really. Of course just, you didn't, didn't know how to do the poll properly. Yeah, what did you put? Right. What do you put? Who is guest of the year? And you tagged them in it rather than put. You can put a poll up so people vote. But it wouldn't let me. <laughs> <laughs> right, fuck it. Let's do it. Go on, who's your vote? Who's my vote? Yeah. Who's your vote? I'm not voting for you. I'm going to vote for me. You can't vote for you. Why? I'm the best one. <laughs> look at it. You look at it. If you look at it, if you look at it simply, most consistent. I'll tell you what I can do. Most consistent, funniest. Does the most for the podcast out of all the guests. I could have just gone on who listened to the most episodes and who yeah. was on that episode. Yeah, well, I've done that. It yeah. wasn't you. You were well, part of the episode. It was actually well, amazing. What, why don't you look at how many episodes I'm on, count how many people listen to them. Hello? Hello? All right. Sorry, Kate. Say hi, Kate. Hi. I'll be in in two seconds. All right, so it's Mason Jones then. Mason Jones, <laughs> yeah. part of the year for Cage part Warriors, the guest of the year, Granite Zero podcast. There you go. Doesn't get anything, but yeah. Well, he'll get something. He might. What about a Granite Zero t shirt? I've only got large. Well, I'll send him my small then. You haven't got small? George, yeah. He right, doesn't man. wear a small, he'll wear a medium. Send him your medium then. You've got two. I've got two. <laughs> Done. There we go. And I can send him a sticker because I got loads of them. <laughs> send him a sticker. Hold on, I'll screenshot this real quick. Why? Actually, no, I can't without getting my arms involved. What are you screenshotting? Ready. Do not screenshot. Oh, because it's not an iPhone 10. That's why. Got to do it like those buttons. Don't do that face ever. Face. You know the face. Uh, oh, he's gone. It's all <laughs> fucked. It's all fucked. <laughs> What's up, a fact? I don't fully understand what you're trying to do. I'm trying to give you a screen grab for your post, Mason Jones, guest of the year. Oh, right. Uh, done it. Probably looks like a monk. Oh, can't say Don't monk. Don't say monk. We're allowed to. Right, anyway, I've been summoned by the long haired colonel. Oh, we can screen share this onto my telly. There's all good. Right. Also, I really need a massive piss. So, we right, will nice. catch you in the new year. Charlie, Charlie, one. This is Sierra Oscar. <laughs> Sierra Oscar from 941 receiving. Go ahead, Polly. That's it. I got like, like that one up there. Who? Polo. Oh, yeah. All right. And over there. All right. All right. Right. I'll send you. I'll send you the thing. All right, do that. All right, in a bit, mate. Bye, 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 bye. bye. bye, bye, bye.